Hi guys, so we're going away on another weekend trip again with Luna, which has made her very happy. We're staying in a place near Filey. What's it called? Hunmanby. Hunmanby, and it's called Posh Pods. So we've never stayed in a pod before. So we'll see what it's like when we get there. Is Luna excited? Luna? <laughs> <laughs> Are you real? So we arrived and we was greeted by a lovely woman with a torch. A lady called Vicky. But Posh Pods definitely holds up to its name. There are some smaller pods that we walked past, but this one's ours. We'll show you them in the morning. Yeah. The we'll show you more of the outside bit um, in the light, but there is security lights do come on. There's a hot tub, which Can Luna. That in a bit. Luna's, uh, Luna's checking it out already, but we'll have a little, have a little walk in and see. This pod is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Some lights on. Yeah, put the bigger lights on. So we've got a nice double bed. So much more room than I thought. A little kitchen area. Luna's loving it. Yeah. What's a little seat in? And the smart TV, she said, is logged in on Netflix. So uh, that's very up to date and modern. Nice little kitchen. There's actually more here than it says. On yeah. The so we did read on the website, and it said that there was a just a microwave. So we were and a kettle. So we was thinking, oh, I wonder what can we do with just a microwave and a kettle. And we thought it's a shame there wasn't a hob or a um, toaster. Even yeah, but there is a toaster. Maybe even an air fryer with like an extraction fan on it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure on the rules. Obviously, everything's made of wood. Yeah, there's wine in it. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure with uh, I'm sure there's wine in the car. There is wine in the car. Loads of cutlery. Yeah, yeah lots. Look at that. I think there's a shop nearby enough to go there's and stuff get Stuff for everything. Stuff. Even chip, nice glasses. Even chip shop style vinegar. <laughs> so that means we it's may. Seasoned. Yeah, that means we may have to go to the chip shop. There. That radiator is working really well. It is it? It's, it's, it's lovely. Well, it's not red hot, but it's lovely. No, but say how cold it is outside. A few different seating areas to choose from. And then what we wasn't expecting, we thought was going to have a separate bathroom, but no. We've got a freestanding bath, which we've been told not to sit on the edge. Um, before there's water in it or else we will fall through the shower screen here. <laughs> oh, lovely little toilet area. And the shower cubicle is pretty big, getting it. See how it is with a small with a small person inside it. But the whole pod is dog friendly on the floor as well. Luna's in with you. Luna wants <laughs> Luna wants a shower. But yeah, all wet. What have you been doing? It's a, uh, it's a decent size, isn't it? Yeah, that's quite handy. All that little shelf that comes out. You put all your toiletries on here. Yeah. But the pod is such a massive size. But I think we're nice little touches as well, like the bath mat. Luna gets off oh, it. Oh yeah. And then there's a little thing up there that's welcome to the madhouse. Welcome to the madhouse. They should go on four in a bed. They might win. Yeah. Are you coming in, Luna? Well, they might have been on it. <coughs> yeah, but we'll go, I'll go over prices at the end, as always. 
Uh, but yeah, looks very nice and, as the name suggests, very posh. Well, at the end of the video, I'll go over costs with everything, how much this pod costs. They do have um, more standard pods, but they didn't look very big at all. Maybe it looked like there was just a bed in it. Um, but we'll have, I'll go over what it looks like in the daytime a bit more, and I'll go over costs at the end of the video. But if you do like watching these videos, remember to hit the subscribe button. It, it's free, doesn't cost anything. If you'd like us to review anywhere, drop a suggestion in the comment. So when we turned up, it was pitch black last night. We had a first, it was a good night's sleep, wasn't it? Oh yeah. It was nice. Yeah. But it looks totally different in the daytime. So you come through that arch, and I think you can stay in either side of those. And then you come up here to the left, This is the uh, where you wash your pots and things. We don't have to because we've got a sink and everything in our pod. So it's the bigger one. A little space to wash. And this, uh, this pod is the shower pod. So we'll see if it's open and I'll have a look. Might be. We are the only ones here, so oh, yeah, no dogs allowed though. Sorry, Luna. Let's have a little look. So he's got a little toilet and hand basin. You've got a little toilet and a hand basin here. I don't know where the lights are. It's all on sensors. Is on sensors, yeah. So it must be off because we're the only ones here. And then you've just got a shower cubicle. Which is an okay size, but there's only one. And these are two other little pods. Which, which is just a... I'll have a look, see if we can see on the camera. Yeah, just a bed, a very small area. To, um, there's just a kettle and the seat in, it's just like lawn chairs. So we definitely uh, pick the correct pod. I suppose it depends what you want though. Then this is our pod here. You can already tell how big it is just from the size of that window, really. And the main thing that made us stay here in this pod was the hot tub. Oh, we're going for a walk in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Back already. <laughs> nice little place to hang your, uh, hang your robes. So we went in the hot tub last night, but the lights out here are not particularly great. Um, so we couldn't film any of that. But when we got out, it was absolutely freezing cold on it. It was like a massive rush to get back inside. <laughs> inside stays really warm and really nice. I don't know if the others have a heater, they must have, because it'd, be yeah, it it'd be way too cold. But this particular uh, pod is probably the only posh pod, if you like. Yeah. Yeah, mm. the whole place is called Posh Pods, but unfortunately, I only think this is the posh one and the others are just a pod. A pod. Right, well, we're going to have a little drive to Scarborough. Scarborough's only 10 miles away. Uh, and see if uh, Tet Luna on the beach. And we're going to head to a little place called P Zone Park as well, where you can feed squirrels from your hand, but they won't come anywhere near us because of uh, Luna. I'm sure she won't let us feed a squirrel, <laughs> but we will see.
pod itself, uh, there's a notice on the side with loads of like rules, if you like, and bits and bobs. And it does say that this is her pride and joy who runs this. And you can really tell because everything is really spotless. Mm. Apart from this, nothing is ever perfect. So one of the lamps next to the bed is really, really clean. The other lamp is really, really dusty. So obviously that's just been overlooked. But everywhere else, you cannot say that... Um, this pod is dirty or dusty at all. The tea, coffee and sugar pods was pretty much empty. So there was quite a few tea bags if you drink tea. Which, which we don't. Yeah, you'll have a cup of tea now and again, but mm. normally coffee. We opened the coffee pot, there was just one instant coffee, but no, there was no milk in the fridge. Um, and the sugar was empty. It wasn't that much of a big deal, so as a co-op down the road, so we just got some instant coffees. But I think maybe that should be topped up, so there or, isn't nothing Or just there. clearly state, like, you, you do need to bring, like, your own food yeah. and drink. There, is, the, the, there isn't any, basically. Yeah, it is advertised as self-catering, but normally everywhere you go, tea and coffee bits and bobs like that are there um but yeah so vick has been really good you can message her she gets back to gets back to you straight away um another great thing which a lot of hotels and places we stay in don't have the tv comes on like an arm so you can swivel it round. so when you're sat in these chairs now you can be watching it you can turn it round. so when you're in bed you can be watching it which i think was that was yeah, really yeah. good the sound on the tv TV speakers are notorious for being really bad nowadays. Um, and if you have any kind of bass on it, it makes an awful little noise. So I think to get around that, a cheap sound bar sat on top of the unit underneath it would sort that out straight away, wouldn't it? Yeah. One thing we did, we had a look on the website earlier. So the archway that you come through, either side of that, you can rent those out as well. They're like... Called the Follies. So it was two... Uh different sets of accommodation so I went on the website earlier because I was interested in seeing what they look like on the inside and there's there's no pictures of the interior of the follies at all it's all of the pods there's a photo of the outside um, which is great but I'd like to know what they look, on, look like on the inside and the price of them was really good as well um, so we paid £310 for two nights here, which isn't the cheapest of accommodation we've stayed in by a long way. Uh, but the pod is massive. You do get a lot for your money. You get your own bathroom and things. And um, also, obviously, the hot tub. And so you pay. You're definitely paying for the hot tub, aren't you? Yeah. One thing you did pick up on the website, because Victoria always picks up these mm -hmm. kind of things, and what was that? Uh, there was a, a spelling mistake on the website. It was spelled extremely wrong. And that um, made Victoria extremely <laughs> annoyed. It didn't. It didn't make me annoyed, but I spotted it straight away. Uh, having said all that, they're only tiny little niggles. Yeah. The yeah. whole stay, like, yeah. I would 100% come back. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah.